For the cheapest coins round, go to www.ufifa.com. Use a discount code SQUAD for 5% off. They're cheap, reliable, and you get your coins in seconds. Hey, what's up, guys? Dan Hunter, new FIFA 15 squad of mine. You're looking at this squad. It's got Andy Carroll and Peter Crouch in the same thumbnail, and you're thinking, what the hell is going on? Why have you done this? And uh, for 200k, I love this squad. I think you should definitely try it out, give it a chance, because the actual strikers weren't actually that bad. Now, um, for 200k, you can get that for a couple of quid off you, FIFA. Of course, the links are down below. Use squad for 5% off. Now, before we get into the squad a bit more, could you smash the like button and get us to 100 likes? I'd appreciate your support a lot. Now, we've got Diego Alves in goal, quite an expensive player with 90 diving and 90 reflexes. I say he's really good because a lot of people hate him, so a lot of people don't try him because of that. But I actually didn't mind him. He made some really good saves, some really important saves as well. Of course, we've got David Luiz ahead of him uh, with 77 pace, 72 dribbling, 80 defending. Quite an attacking centre back, but still a really good overpowered player who's got like he's good in the air, he's really quick, and he's strong as well. Now we've got uh, I don't even know how to pronounce that. It's Doug Lau or something like that. Uh, but he's got. Um, something like 55 pace right there still a decent strong centre back with medium attacking high defensive work rates the sort of perfect work rates for centre back in my opinion uh, but then we go um, a bit a bit quicker but not that much but you've got 57 pace and Chico uh, he's got 76 defending and 80 physical now uh, what's good about Chico he stays back all the time he's got low attacking and high defensive work rates and uh, this defence wasn't bad at all now we've got a clip right here uh, where, where they do get past three defenders at once really good skills right there but that's what I'm talking about important saves from uh, Diego Alves right there uh, if he hadn't made that save it would have of course have been a goal right there a great challenge from David Luiz right in right position as well which is also good to see and uh, the one which they get through right here it's a nice ball to be fair but it's just the strength from Doug Lau just to get that away from the defender and uh, yeah so that was a good challenge right there and now we can move on to the midfield right now. As you can see, it is a three at the back formation. Uh, we've got two CDMs, a cam and two wingers. It just means sort of more midfield, so it's more clustered and you have more control of midfield at the same time. Uh, we've got a great player in Felipe Melo right there. You can use his in form if you want to go for that bit of an upgrade. Uh, but he's a good CDM and so is this guy as well. Um, his name's... Uh, in Anne, I think it is a 74 pace, 77 shooting. He's got good all round stats, if I'm honest. Um, he got me uh, like nothing and the actual attacking moves. So that just shows you he's at the back more than on the attack. So uh, he's got good positioning. Now we've got the left mid right here. I was a bit dubious to whether you use him actually. It's Matt Jarvis here. He's got 92 pace. Um, he's got good stats, to be fair. And he got me one goal and three assists in 10 games, which again isn't bad. Uh, he's got good pace, gets down that line all, all the time. And on the right mid position, we haven't got Navas. We have indeed got William who is brilliant I loved his runs which he made ahead of the midfield uh, he's got four goals and four assists in uh, 10 games for me and cost me 2.3k He's got good pace, good dribbling, and he's got the four-star skimmers and the four-star weak foot. He's a really good all-round winger. Now, we've gotten to the cam position. Probably the best player in this squad is in form, Schneider. Uh, second in form, actually, sorry. He's got 87 shooting, 77 pace, and uh, he's a really good player. He's, he's got really good free kicks, and I don't know. He just seemed to have like the perfect control of the midfield. He dropped back when he needed to. He's got good shooting from the edge of the box, and... Um, that's that's why I liked him. He just seemed to have such a good long shot. And his free kicks, of course, were awesome. A great ball through to William right there. And it's a great finish as well. Now, um, this is what he can do right here. He cuts onto the edge of the box. Um, and he actually does the sort of the the ball roll back and it's a snapshot straight away into that bump corner that is what I like to see and that's what you get with him basically um, he feeds through William and also Jarvis and just puts it on the plate for the strikers as well um, a great goal from William right there again and uh, William is actually a really good under underrated player he's got really good dribbling pace he gets through that defence all the time even if from that right mid position he's still making those runs and bursts and look at that fed through perfectly and all he needs to do is pace it into that bump corner and then it's a goal now um that's what he did basically all the time again he puts the ball forward to um schneider this time who's got a lot of work to uh, to do still he jumps around a lot of players and it's a great finish with his left foot of course he's got that five star weak foot as well which makes him even better he just there's not much wrong with this guy i mean his pace isn't great but still he's got great control in the midfield and to set up uh like Andy Cowell right there look at that for a really good goal now um this is sort of the attacking players. We have actually got Peter Crouch and Andy Carroll who do a great job up there. I mean, like, 
when it actually comes to the attacking moves, they're always in the box to get the like the headers and stuff like that. I'm sorry about my phone right there, but still, they've got great finishing. They've got great like heading. Both of them are really good in the air, and you'd be surprised with their left foot and right foot. So, I mean, Crouch has got a cracking right foot, and look at that for the finish right there. It somehow came off as an own goal, um, but right into the top corner of that, and uh, that's why I liked him quite a lot. Uh, of course, William putting the ball forward to Peter Crouch this time just does the easy finish of placing it past the keeper. Nothing the keeper could have done there and that's all he has to do and um, of course we get the ball forward to uh, Peter Crouch all the time and some of the goals which I actually scored with him after the recording as well were brilliant I mean Peter Crouch got me such a good like long range strike and of course Schneider with his free kicks got me a really good goal against my mate as well and um uh, Andy Carroll started to move right here and finished it with a great header. Now that is the squad finished. Uh, could you smash the like button, get us to 100 likes. I'd appreciate the support and also comment down below what you thought and subscribe if you're new around here. Cheers.